Hi, welcome to CBA's class, online class for the phase one environmental site assessments. My name is John Kane. I'm with Kane Environmental. Uh, we're located in Seattle, Washington. I'm a geologist and I've been working on phase one type work for the last uh, 25 years. And um, my company over the last 20 years has been doing phase one since day one and do about 100 of them a year. So a lot of different types of sites and different types of clients. And I'm very pleased to be here with you today to go over the approach that we use and uh, in, in completing the phase one reports. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to go over some housekeeping uh, with you regarding uh, CBA's uh, requirements for this class. So this class will be three hours long. And the benefit of the online course is that you can stop and start whenever you like. You can take the course in your spare time in between appointments, earlier in the morning or after work, whatever works for you. After completing the course in its entirety, successfully answering the quiz questions throughout, you will earn three continuing education clock hours. You have two handouts today included with this course, the PowerPoint handout, as well as a copy of a report, phase one environmental site assessment that has been uh, redacted for privacy uses, but it's a real report that was done by Kane Environmental. I encourage you to either print these handouts or have them accessible on your computer as I'll be referencing them as I move through the course. So the approach for this class is not going to be just PowerPoint slides and me reading off PowerPoints. Uh, I actually have a copy of the report that each of you has, and we're going to go through this report section by section in detail. And I'm going to talk about what's kind of boilerplate and information in the report that isn't that important. But then I'm going to focus on the information that is important. I'm going to tell you specifically where you should be uh, looking at sections of the report and what you should be looking for. And that should um, then give you the tools to be able to look through the report and really be able to, within a, just a few minutes, 15, 20 minutes of your time, focus in on the pertinent information that you need to review phase one environmental site assessment reports. And before I get started on the report, I want to go to the PowerPoint slide and dive in a little deeper about my company and what I do. So you just have a background of what my experience is. As I said, I'm located in Seattle and we also have some other offices around the country uh, in Phoenix, Arizona. We do work in California. And in fact, if you go to the, the next slide, it kind of looks like a, an airline uh, passenger uh, routes. But th those are the, uh, the states that we've worked in, whether it be phase ones or other type of environmental work. So we've got a lot of experience in all over the United States. And which for us is interesting because we get to go to different locations and deal with different laws in different states. But also for our clients, we can pretty much go anywhere we need, they need us to go to. The next slide on the PowerPoint is just a summary of our services. And I'm not going to go through each one. I just wanted to provide this for you, that this is the type of work that, that our company can do in this, um, in this uh, sector. And the last thing, last slide under the client type, gives you also an idea of the different types of clients that we have and have had over the years and continue to have. So I just wanted to give you that idea that um, you know we don't do just one sector and one type of work, just phase ones. This is only a, a small portion of the type of work we do. But we take these very seriously. Phase ones are a big deal for our clients. And they're used for buying property, selling property, refinancing. This could be somebody's retirement plan. This could be someone's major investment for their company. It's a big deal. And uh, that's the way that we approach these things. Mm -hmm.